Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving re entry of a space shuttle. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on risks of space exploration, as watching that video will help you understand what we do in this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says, what is the change in temperature which occurs when a spacecraft heat shield of mass 2000 kilograms absorbs 2 gigajoules of energy? And we're told the specific heat capacity C is 1035 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Well, because we're talking about change in temperature, we're going to use the equation for specific heat capacity from the properties of matter topic. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the change in temperature delta T. We know the heat energy EH is 2 gigajoules, which we need to change into joules. So remember that's the same as 2 times 10 to the 9 joules. We also have the mass M is 2000 kilograms and the specific heat capacity C is 1035 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. So writing down our equation for specific heat capacity, we have EH equals CM delta T. Substituting in the numbers, we have 2 times 10 to the 9 is equal to 1035 times 2000 times delta T. And then to get delta T on its own, you can divide the left hand side by 1035 times 2000. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of delta T equals 966 degrees Celsius. Question 2 says the heat shield on a spacecraft has a mass of 50 kilograms. On re entry into the Earth's atmosphere, the velocity of the spacecraft is reduced from 1000 meters per second to 200 meters per second. The specific heat capacity of the heat shield material is 1040 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Part A says to calculate the change in kinetic energy of the heat shield. Well, to do this, we want to first find the initial kinetic energy of the spacecraft. So let's say we're trying to find EK initial, the initial kinetic energy. We know the mass M is 50 kilograms, and the initial velocity V initial is equal to 1000 meters per second, because we're told the velocity is that to begin with. We can then write down our equation for kinetic energy, EK equals a half mv squared, where all we're doing is using the subscripts initial here for the kinetic energy and the velocity. So we have EK initial equals a half mv initial squared, Substituting in the numbers gives a half times 50 times 1000 squared, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 2.5 times 10 to the 7 joules. And now we want to find the final kinetic energy of the spacecraft. So doing a similar thing, just using EK final this time, we know the mass is 50 kilograms again, and the final velocity this time is 200 meters per second, which is the second velocity mentioned in the question. So writing down our equation, we have EK equals a half mv squared again, but this time we're just using the subscript final instead. So EK final equals a half mv final squared. Substituting in the numbers gives a half times 50 times 200 squared. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 1.0 times 10 to the 6 joules. Lastly, we were asked to determine the change in kinetic energy of the spacecraft. So now that we've got a final and an initial kinetic energy, we can take the initial away from the final to find the change. So we've got delta EK, the change in kinetic energy, equals EK final minus EK initial. Substituting in the numbers gives us 1.0 times 10 to the 6 minus 2.5 times 10 to the 7. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of minus 2.4 times 10 to the 7 joules. Now don't worry about the negative sign there, that just indicates that the spacecraft loses kinetic energy as it slows down. So it makes sense for the change to be negative if the spacecraft is slowing down. Part B says to calculate the change in temperature of the heat shield, and we're told to assume all of the kinetic energy is changed to heat in the heat shield material and there's no change of state. Well, because we're assuming no energy losses, we can say that by conservation of energy, the heat energy EH is equal to the change in kinetic energy, which is equal to 2.4 times 10 to the 7 joules. So all we're doing is taking the magnitude of the change in energy from part A. Then writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the change in temperature delta T. We know the heat energy EH is now 2.4 times 10 to the 7 joules. The mass M is 50 kilograms, and the specific heat capacity we were told in the question is 1040 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. So writing down our equation for specific heat capacity, we have EH equals CM delta T. Substituting in the numbers gives 2.4 times 10 to the 7 equals 1040 times 50 times delta T. And to find delta T on its own, we need to just divide the left hand side by 1040 times 50. And if you do that in your calculator, you should get an answer of delta T equals 462 degrees Celsius. So a very large change in temperature. Lastly, question 3 says a spacecraft of mass 4,500 kilograms enters the atmosphere at 1,200 meters per second. It is slowed to a speed of 900 meters per second. Calculate the rise in temperature of the spacecraft. And we're told the specific heat capacity of the heat shielding material is 7,500 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Well, this is basically the same question as question 2, although it's just not split into the two parts A and B. We have to do it as one whole answer. So first we want to find the initial kinetic energy of the spacecraft, so just like before we're trying to find EK initial, 
We know the mass M is 4,500 kilograms and the initial speed is 1,200 meters per second. So writing down our equation, we have EK initial equals a half MV initial squared. Substituting in the numbers gives a half times 4,500 times 1,200 squared. And putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 3.2 times 10 to the 9 joules. We then want to find the final kinetic energy of the spacecraft. So again, we're trying to find the EK final. We know the mass M is 4,500 kilograms again, and the final speed V is 900 meters per second. Writing down our equation, we have EK final equals a half MV final squared. A substituting in the numbers gives a half times 4,500 times 900 squared. And putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 1.8 times 10 to the 9 joules. Now we want to determine the change in kinetic energy of the spacecraft. So we have delta EK equals EK final minus EK initial. And plugging in those two values, we have 1.8 times 10 to the 9 minus 3.2 times 10 to the 9. And putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of minus 1.4 times 10 to the 9 joules. And again, note that the negative sign here indicates that the spacecraft loses kinetic energy as it slows down. So that makes sense. But to find the change in temperature, we want to use the specific heat capacity equation. So let's just take the magnitude of this change in energy. So lastly, we want to calculate the change in temperature of the spacecraft. So assuming no energy losses, we can use the conservation of energy. And we can say the heat energy EH is equal to the change in kinetic energy, which equals 1.4 times 10 to the 9 joules, just ignoring the negative sign from up here. Then we know we're trying to find the change in temperature delta T. We know the heat energy EH is 1.4 times 10 to the 9 joules. The mass M is 4,500 kilograms. And lastly, the specific heat capacity C is 7,500 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Writing down our equation for specific heat capacity gives us EH equals CM delta T. Substituting in the numbers gives 1.4 times 10 to the 9 equals 7,500 times 4,500 times delta T. And dividing the left-hand side by 7,500 times 4,500 should give you delta T on its own, which should be a value of 42 degrees Celsius. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.